Hey everyone, YouTube's DOT physical expert, Dr. Nussi, back again with another video. And in this one, we are going to give you the insight on how long certain drugs stay in your system when being drug screened, either during the urinalysis drug screening or sometimes even a hair follicle sample. So there are a bunch of different drugs that a traditional drug test will test for. I'm gonna go through each of them individually and let you know how long it will stay in your system after you've stopped using that drug. So how long is it going to be detectable on normal drug screenings? Okay, so first things first, what is typically going to be tested for? Well, traditionally, a urine screening is going to test for five. It's gonna be a five panel drug screening, and I'll put up on the screen here what we're testing for. It's going to be marijuana, cocaine, amphetamines, opioids, and fencyclidine, otherwise known as PCP. So this will be the most traditional drug test when you go in and get a urinalysis done. This is what traditionally is going to be tested for. So for these drugs, I'm gonna give you how long it can be detected on average on urinalysis and how long it can be tested on average with a hair follicle sample. Now, I've gotta give you a disclaimer before this. Again, these are averages. These can go up or go down a little bit. So let's say you are a really heavy user of one of these drugs. It might be detectable longer in your system. So that is the number one factor that can skew how long we can detect this for is how long or how heavy of a user you have been. Also, your body size plays a role, your age, if you have any liver or kidney disease. So again, I'm giving you averages here, but it could be a little longer, it could be a little less, again, depending on a number of different factors. Okay, and another important thing to note is that I'm an expert in the Department of Transportation Physical and the medicals and testing that goes along with commercial drivers. So the standard there is going to be a urine sample. So the government does not require yet hair samples. Some employers might and states might be different, but this rule is talked about being changed in the future. Now, if hair sample starts becoming the standard, I will make an update video and let you know that we're going or we're switching to doing hair samples instead of urinalysis because that is something that is being talked about from the FMCSA. So please stay subscribed to this channel. Make sure you hit that bell icon because when I make a new video, an update video on new standards, it will go right into your inbox and you will be in informed. The FMCSA is not going to tell drivers what the new standards are. They're going to tell the provider, but I want you to know. I feel like you deserve to know what you're getting into when you go in and take your medicals so that you have the best chance of passing your medicals. Okay, so let's get right into the list of drugs and how long they are going to stay in your system. We'll talk about fencyclidine first, PCP. Now the urinalysis is going to be able to detect this drug in your system after you've quit for up to two weeks. Again, this can be a little less, a little more, depending on those different factors we talked about. Rarely, if you get a hair sample done, this can be detectable up to three months. All right, next on the list, opioids. Opioids in a urinalysis are detectable up to about a week. And again, on a hair sample, they can be detected up to about three months. Amphetamines, again, in a urinalysis, what is traditionally used to screen for these drugs is about a week after you stop using. And again, in a hair sample, it's going to be up to three months. Cocaine will be detectable on a urinalysis for one, maybe even two weeks. And with a hair sample, it can be multiple, multiple months, maybe even up to a year that you can detect cocaine usage through a hair follicle sample. All right, and finally, marijuana THC is going to be detectable in a urinalysis for up to about 30 days. So after you stop using, we're still gonna be able to detect it in a urinalysis for up to a month and then about three months if you are getting tested with a hair follicle sample. All right, so I tried to make this video very clear, very concise, and to the point. I hope it was very, very helpful and useful. Again, stay subscribed here for more information on taking your medicals, especially those that are CDL or commercial drivers. All right, until next time, everybody, drivers, stay safe.